Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I will be sharing with you some new fragrance releases of 2024. I will quickly review each fragrance and give you my rating for each perfume as well. So if this is something that you would be interested in, definitely keep on watching. First up on today's list, we have Bloom Tea by Hermetica and this one is such a unique fragrance. I was so surprised when I tried this one for the first time. It's so unique, it's different, it's interesting, but yet it's very likable and enjoyable at the same time. This is a green herbal aromatic perfume. It's a little bit earthy as well. It opens up with white lavender, there is green tea, we have plenty of sage as well. In the heart we have a little bit of a floral touch, we have a beautiful rose, a little bit of geranium and a juicy sweet pear as well. In the base we have musk, tonka bean and moss. The moss is very prominent, it adds a deep artiness in the fragrance. The tonka bean is adding a delicate sweet powderiness and the musk is very fresh and clean and just so beautiful. As I said, this one is a very interesting, very unique fragrance. I have nothing like this in my perfume collection. I haven't tried a fragrance so interesting in a long time, honestly. It's beautiful, it's blended so perfectly, it's aromatic, it's herbal, it's fresh, it's soothing, it's calming with the lavender, the sage, the green tea. We have the sweetness from the rose and the pear. This is honestly such a beautiful, interesting composition. If you're looking for something that will make you stand out, something that no one has smelled before, you should try this one. Beautiful, aromatic, herbal perfume, fresh, green, clean, but fruity and floral at the same time. I would rate this one 10 out of 10. This is the most interesting release I have tried uh, so far in 2024. It's absolutely stunning. Next up, we have Spring River by Furaiko and this bottle is so incredibly beautiful just as every creation by Furaiko. They honestly have one of the most beautiful presentation. The fragrance has a citrusy opening. We have a peony accord and ylang ylang accord as well. We have sandalwood and vetiver. There is a certain creaminess about it. It feels light and airy and soft and so fresh and clean. This is just an inoffensive, elegant, everyday fragrance that you would wear just day to day. It's an easy reach fragrance when you just want to smell clean and put together. This is just a perfect fragrance. As long as you enjoy clean smelling fragrances, I personally do. I love a clean, fresh, laundry like fragrance. This one does kind of smell like laundry, but it's very smooth, it's elevated, it's elegant. It's a beautiful everyday freshie and I would wear this one so much in the spring and summer. I was expecting a little bit more from this perfume. I expected something more interesting because Furaiko usually have incredible creations. It is a beautiful Beautiful fragrance however I would rate this one 7 out of 10 because I just I expected something different but yet again a beautiful elegant fresh clean fragrance for the summer heat moving on we have 312 Saint Honoré by BDK and I already reviewed this one on my channel but this was an instant love for me this is a beautiful musky perfume it's very elegant it's very chic it's sophisticated it's just incredibly beautiful to me the fragrance has a very vibrant intoxicating opening with plenty of pink pepper that opening is quite intense, very, very peppery. It's very strong at first, but as the fragrance settles down on your skin, that spiciness becomes very soft and delicate, but it's adding so much character to the perfume. Then you start to get this sweet, creamy orange blossom together with the musk. This is so incredibly beautiful. It's blended to perfection. You have a little bit of everything. You have this fluffy, soft, clean muskiness, you have this sweet, creamy orange blossom, you have the soft spiciness coming from the pepper. This is 
beautifully blended a gorgeous musky perfume perfect for every day this would be a beautiful signature scent as well in my opinion if you love musky perfumes this is one that you absolutely need to try this is a 10 out of 10 for me next up we have the only mango fragrance you would need this summer and this one is panaco taha and this is such a unique gorgeous sophisticated luxurious mango fragrance it is completely unisex this is a fragrance which opens up with a delicious blast of fruitiness you get this realistic juicy sweet mango with a slight citrusy touch from an orange note we have plenty of vanilla in here but the vanilla doesn't feel overly sweet it's very balanced it's very smooth and soft we have a panna cotta accord in here which adds this addictive creamy milkiness to the perfume in the base we have some deep notes we have saffron we have benzoin we have Tahitian vanilla which smells a little bit dry and a little bit earthy but not overly so it just smells like a realistic vanilla the vanilla is not overly sweet as i mentioned this is just a beautiful beautiful fragrance i just I am literally obsessed with this one. If you are looking for a mango fragrance with a character, with deepness, with richness, with a little bit of spiciness, this is the one that you have to try. It's luxurious, it's sophisticated, it's intoxicating, it's delicious, yet not overly sweet. I get the mango throughout the whole wear, but I get this deep spiciness and warmth from the saffron with the benzoin the vanilla is beautiful as i said not overly sweet this is just a luxurious intoxicating mango fragrance that would be so beautiful for the summertime a 10 out of 10 for me moving on we have peaches revenge by sarah baker and this is a fragrance that i simply can't get enough of this is one of the most incredible fruity perfumes this is the queen of peach fragrances we have a beautiful sweet juicy delicious peach we have a guava note which is adding a fresh touch to the fragrance it's a little bit tart but it's also adding a tropical touch as well we have a amaretto note which is adding this soft almondy touch to the fragrance it's adding just a little bit of booziness in my opinion as well we have caramel we have vanilla this is honestly one of the most beautiful peach perfumes sweet juicy fruity delicious bright and uplifting and fresh but also warm inviting enveloping intoxicating it's a little bit spicy we have a warm spicy cinnamon note in here as well this is just a beautifully blended fragrance it has a little bit of everything as i said it has this addictive bright juicy fruitiness but it has the warmth it has character it has some deepness and richness so if you love fruity fragrances especially peach fragrances this is one that you absolutely need to try this is a 10 out of 10 for me this would be so beautiful in the summertime a juicy sweet peach it smells almost like a peach that has been baked in the oven it has been topped up with some caramel and it's just this is a mouth-watering delicious fragrance next up we have juliet by juliet has a gun and this release i feel like was a little bit of a disappointment for many people because they were expecting something more out of it i personally really love and enjoy the fragrance now this is not anything striking it's nothing new it's very likable and enjoyable and i just love it this is a fragrance which has a sour cherry note and even though it has a cherry note this is not heavy on the cherry as it was marketed you get the cherry straight away when you first spray it it's sour it's tart it's juicy but it quickly fades away and it's kind of more so in the background we have plenty of jasmine in here which is beautiful it's feminine it's sexy we have cashmere and in the base with tonka bean the cashmere and note in here is very beautiful in my opinion it kind of adds this soft a woody muskiness to the perfume the tonka bean adds just a little bit of a powdery touch to the fragrance but all in all this one smells very 
fresh, very bright, a little bit clean, a little bit fruity, but very, very heavy on the white florals. So this is a white floral fragrance with a cherry fruitiness underneath and a little bit of woody muskiness in the dry down. I find this fragrance to be very sexy, but also very easy to wear, very likable. This is an easy reach fragrance for me. I would wear this one day to day when I want to smell pretty, I want to smell fresh, I want to smell clean, but I also want to smell sexy. The cherry in the opening is very fruity, it's delicious, it's prominent, but slowly it becomes softer and more delicate. And to me, it smells like cherry blossom as it kind of um, settles down on your skin. So it's very floral, a little bit fruity, a little bit musky and woody, and it's fresh and clean, but also a little bit powdery as well. This is a gorgeous white floral fragrance with some addictive fruitiness in there. It's perfect for every day when you want to smell fresh, pretty, and feminine but also very sexy at the same time. I would give this one 9 out of 10. I'm really enjoying it. It's not something uh, striking, it's nothing unique but it's very likable and pretty. Next on the list we have Red by Sora Dora in collaboration with Javoy and this so far has to be my favorite release of 2024. This one is incredibly sexy, incredibly intoxicating. This one is a luxurious, addictive, seductive fragrance. In the opening we have a beautiful coconut note, plenty of cardamom, a bright citrusy touch from bergamot and a sweet clementine note. The opening to me is very gourmand, it's very delicious. It reminds me of lemon cookies with some coconut shavings on top. It's just so yummy. This gourmand cookie-like opening does not really last very long. And soon you start to get more of the coconut, a little bit of fig, the cardamom is very present. In the base we have sandalwood and caramel. This one is not an overly sweet fragrance. I find it to be very well balanced. We have spiciness, we have a little bit of citrusy brightness, we have the coconut, the cardamom. It's not overly sweet, not overly spicy, not overly woody. It's beautifully balanced out, it's beautifully blended. You have a little bit of everything, a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of woodiness. It feels very soft and inviting and so sexy. It feels a little bit powdery as well. This one is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. To me, this one reminds me of a mix between Gris Charnel by BDK and Versace Crystal Noir. If you love these two fragrances, you would absolutely love this one. A 10 out of 10 release by Soradora. Moving on, we have two of the newest releases by Teodoros Calotinis and first up we have Cherry Powder. I blind bought this one and when I first tried it, I was not really loving it. I found it to be a weird mix of powderiness, heavy powderiness and a fresh, clean, wet wipe vibe. So it was like fresh and clean, almost like a wet wipe, but then it was very powdery as well. The cherry is there, especially in the opening. You get plenty of that cherry, but it's just a weird mix. I don't know. I I didn't really like it upon first spray. We have a milk note as well, which adds a creamy electronic feel to the scent. But all in all, this one is a very powdery yet very clean fragrance with a cherry fruitiness. It is a weird mix, at least on my skin and to my nose. I gave it another chance and I started to like it a little bit more. So this one will need a little bit of getting used to. For me personally, it was not exactly what I expected. It's fruity, you've got plenty of the cherry, it's powdery, it's a little bit creamy and milky, but yet it's kind of clean and fresh at the same time. I have to say that this one has an amazing projection, it lasts very well as well, but yet I was expecting a little bit something else, so I would rate this one 6 out of 10 for now. I would need to wear this one a few more times to see how I feel about it. It's slowly starting to grow on me, it's got this contrast of powderiness and freshness with the fruity cherry. But yes, if you are someone who doesn't really like too powdery fragrances, you probably wouldn't enjoy this one. So don't blind buy it.
and next we have pear gelato and this one is very nice this one is a very sweet yummy delicious fragrance but when i first sprayed it it reminded me of a vanilla protein powder so i wasn't really sure how i was feeling about it when I first tried it but then as I wore it on my skin it smelled so delicious so yummy so creamy we've got a delicious juicy pear note in here we have plenty of vanilla we have milk adding this lactonic creaminess we have the waffle cone which is very prominent to me and we have sugar as well but this one is a very yummy sweet creamy delicious fragrance it smells like the most yummy creamy vanilla ice cream with a little bit of pear fruitiness in there if you love gourmand fragrances you would probably enjoy this one it's yummy it's a little bit fruity it's lactonic it's creamy it's sweet it's rich it kind of has a vibe similar to bianco latte in my opinion this addictive sweet creaminess so if you love bianco latte you would probably enjoy this one the sweet creamy rich vanilla ice cream fragrance i will give this one 9 out of 10 and last but not least we have orchid k by ewa k this is the newest release by the brand and this one is such a unique intoxicating marshmallow fragrance we have a soft powdery marshmallow note in here we have magnolia we have deep woodiness we have vanilla as well now this one is a grown-up marshmallow fragrance it's very unique it's interesting it's sophisticated it's luxurious and elegant yet it's very likable and enjoyable this one is an easy to like fragrance in my opinion it's very unique with that deep woodiness that we have in the base and the woodiness is prominent straight away this one is a very very woody perfume with soft sweetness coming from the vanilla and a soft powderiness coming from the marshmallows as well the magnolia note is adding this fresh floral touch but it's also sweet and captivating as well this one is incredibly beautiful if you love marshmallow fragrances and you're looking for something unique something more grown up something a little bit more elevated this is the fragrance for you very sexy very luxurious sophisticated very likable very pretty at the same time deep and rich with that woodiness this is honestly a fragrance that i feel like would make you stand out when you wear it because as i said very likable but very very deep and luxurious at the same time the performance of this fragrance on my skin is incredible it literally lasts the whole day it projects i get whiffs of it constantly a unique sophisticated luxurious elevated marshmallow fragrance with delicate sweetness and deep woodiness this one is 10 out of 10 for me so this was all for today guys please let me know down in the comments what new releases have you been enjoying or not enjoying i would love to know this if you stayed up until the end of today's video thank you so much for watching if you enjoy the content definitely consider subscribing to the channel and i really hope to see you next time